Hello, Jenny Hall here for Trinity Stamps. Today I'll be creating a fun birthday card that is in honor of Trinity Stamps' second birthday that we're celebrating the, during the month of June. I'll be using the Happy Santa Mini Stamps and Dies, and I'll also be featuring the Ocean Reef Builder Stamps and Dies. This is a gorgeous stamp and die set. I'm going to be focusing on the large and the small jellyfish. I'm also going to be using a card frame for my slimline design and this one is from the wonky stitched wilderness slimline set. I know that's a mouthful <laughs> but I really love the stitch lines on this die. Here is my tip whenever die cutting any of these large frames for a panel. I like to secure the paper on top of the die before running it through my die cut machine because with a really long die sometimes I find that the shifting of the plates with the die and the paper but if you secure it with some kind of low tack tape then it really comes out clean every time. Now I'm going to use this panel for some ink blending and this will be a background. It is going to be pink on pink and I'll get into the pink part later but I used three different pink shades on the little panel here. I like to do the die cutting of the panel before I do the ink blending because I tend to not be patient enough to wait and let this distress oxide ink dry before die cutting. I want to just keep moving on. So I reversed my process not too long ago where I first cut my panel out and then I go and add the ink blending on top of it. I don't remember this every time, but I try really hard to remember it. And it really helps me out. And it helps me to plan the colors out as well. And the, the blending brush gets the ink down into those little stitched marks. Those little, you see those little stitched wonky marks on the side. It, it just works out so nicely. So I did a spritz of water and picked that up with a cloth. And now I'm going to add some liquid pixie dust. This is from Ink on 3 and it is available in the Trinity store. So I just gave a little squirt of water to dilute it and you can see an extra hand here. That is my oldest son. His name is Trip, and he wanted to help. And this, since kids are home during the summer, then you know sometimes it's a little better for the family just to let the little ones help and do something than it is to argue. So he really was attracted to the pixie dust. You can see that he got a really close look at it. And there's lots and lots of sparkle here on it. He did a really great job. Now I'm going to stamp some of the images. And these are the mommy and daddy jellyfish, which is what my son told me. That the big ones are the mommy and daddy and the little small jellyfish are the babies. I thought maybe the larger image wasn't even a jellyfish at all, and he informed me that it was a jellyfish, but it was just, we've got the parents and the babies. <laughs> so I'm going to color them all here. They were stamped with ink on three, blackout ink, which is waterproof, and I've stamped them onto some Bristol Smooth paper. I'm going to use three pinks for all of these images and it's going to be in keeping with the three pinks that are on the background as well. I did some very simple color blending adding the darker on the top of each little section and then working that down with the middle pink color and then blending it down to the edge with the lighter of the three pinks. And then here you can see this section, I did exactly the same thing as well. I made sure to color all of the jellyfish with the same color blends, but I tried to make them all just a little bit unique. Uh, for example, I would bring the dark part of the pink down further 
on the head than on some of the others like some of the other jellyfish that I'm that I'm coloring off camera are going to have a lighter head portion and some are going to have a darker head portion and I thought that would look a little more interesting than just having them all the, exactly the same color exactly the same blend for the little jellyfish babies I'm using those same markers or the same pens I'm just not using that light marker to where you can see an, a colored edge. That way they're, they're darker. And it's a smaller image, so maybe that'll help it stand out as well on the finished product. Now I am going to assemble part of my sentiment. This is the die from the Hello Sentimini, and it's a two layer. There is a detail and a shadow. The detail is cut from gray cardstock and the shadow is cut from white cardstock. I thought that the pink and gray would be a nice color combination to complement the pinks because there's so much pink in, in this project. Oh, and I was going to tell you about the pink. My youngest son, Nate, he really likes pink. He would wear pink clothes every day if he had if he had some clothes that were pink enough to last him. But anyhow, he really, really likes pink. And we were watching something that had jellyfish and and he just, he looked at me one evening and said, I love pink. So this card has got both of my kids input. <laughs> and, and that's kind of how things work out in our family sometimes. So I'm assembling all of these jellyfish down and there's so many of them that I only want to try to make sure that I don't put them in a straight line. So that would be no straight line going up and down or side to side. I want it to look much more natural. And I tr I'm trying also to kind of group them in threes or in odd numbers because that's going to look a little bit better than it would be if I just crammed them all in a line. So some of them are attached directly down with some liquid glue and some of the images I have already put a little piece of foam tape on the back there. And this was kind of the really fun part of this project and I got to make some of them like look like they were holding hands and this is when I could group them together to where they looked more like little families and I didn't think about this at the beginning of my project it just kind of evolved that way even the two little jellyfish there that look like they're holding hands it, it just kind of like once I got the idea that these were jellyfish families, then I wanted to place them together and, and make them be just, just, just as the cute little families that I knew they could be. So I'm adding a little sparkle to each one of these images with a Spectrum Noir sparkle pen. And I use this one sometimes over some of the other options that I have in my craft supplies because there is a lot of sparkle that comes out of that sparkle pen. So much so that it's almost like glittery at times. Now the embellishments that I'm adding to the project, I couldn't, I could not not choose the jellyfish uh, the, they're just, they're, the jellyfish jewels are so pretty and I use them on all sorts of projects but uh, these are jellyfish so I knew I had to use the jellyfish jewels and of course I'm using my uh, little tidy tray from Trinity Stamps and those are available in the Trinity Stamp store as well as the Marvy Jewel Picker. So if you need help with your embellishments then that's going to be something that could really help you out. Now, I didn't show it on camera, but you can see here that I added some white gel pen over the areas that were colored over with the other markers, and then I added little, looks like little bubbles coming up from them. I hope that you've enjoyed this project, and we look forward to celebrating our second anniversary with you, and thanks from Trinity Stamps.